Hey, what's up? Uh, this is Mari today. I know it's been a while. You guys haven't seen an interview, but today we got um, Scotty Gomez. He's a professional boxer who has a great story behind him, you know, and we're here today to give you all the scoop So on Scotty Gomez. So, Scotty, boy, what's up? Which, how's life treating you? Treating me good, man. God is good. You know, I turned my life around from being in the system. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so boxer, you know, with what I've been doing for my whole life. So. Yeah. So uh, tell us, where you where were you born and raised? I was born in Pueblo, Colorado. Okay. Um, and is that where you still stay at, Denver, Colorado? No, I'm from Pueblo, Colorado. I was born okay. in Pueblo, Colorado, but I live in uh, Denver, Colorado right now. Oh, okay. What do you like the most about Colorado? Well, the weather. The, the weather. weather. Yeah, I like the weather. You know, it's on and off. You never know what's gonna happen. It'll be sunny one day, rain the next, snow the next. You know, so. Yeah, I heard. I heard it's got some real, really nice, um, like views and stuff like that. You know, I've seen really good, nice pictures from people that show me that've been there. Yeah, we got we got a lot of good pictures. You know, a lot, there's a lot of boxing going on in this state right now. Yeah. So, so what sparked your interest in boxing? Like, how did you get into the sport? When I was seven, you know, my dad used to box when he was a kid. Oh, okay. He put me into it and uh, just fell in love with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So when did you um when did you take it up on yourself to be to take it more serious and actually pursue it as a as a like something you want to pursue? Um I was just off my team and went to the Olympics and but you know, when that didn't happen, so now that I had the chance. You know, I got in shape and I did my thing and I went to be a pro. That's what I wanted to do my whole life. I just wanted to be a boxer and go pro. Mm -hmm. So who uh, who inspires you to um, the most? Uh, God inspires me the most. You know, I'm going to be honest. You know, God inspires me the most. He blessed me, me here. I've been through a lot of struggles in my life. You know, I've been to the penitentiary. Mm -hmm. Last time I got shot, you know, I got shot and was not doing positive things and I just you know I give my life to God and he's blessing me and help me get to it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So um going into uh your boxing style, what is your favorite strike submission to use like in a fight? Uh my jab, my jab pretty little set to my punch. Yeah, okay. my jab set to my punches. So what are you training? Who are you training with in preparation for any upcoming events? I train uh I train with my dad in Pebble, Colorado. Okay. Uh, the Boxing Club. He's my coach and my trainer. Okay. And I train up here with the uh, House of Pain Boxing in Denver, Colorado. Okay. And, Gen and Genesis Boxing. So it's all over. I'm all over, man. Spreading love. You know, everybody's helping. And they, you see me get back into it and do it, you know? Yeah. yeah. So what does it mean to you to be a fighter? I'm a warrior. Yeah, I feel like I'm a warrior, man. Yeah. God, you know, to fight, mm -hmm. you know, I've been fighting my whole life, you know. I'm fighting life. I'm fighting in the ring, you know, just just what I am, man. Yeah. So I, I know you, um, you did some time in the pen. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how that also – um, motivate you in pursuing professional boxing? I've always been, I've always been a big believer. You mean you got to hold your own and be a man, you know what I mean? That's what we get taught in prison. So, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. trying to make this positive, you know? So, yeah. Prison taught me a lot. Prison taught me a lot. Right? And now you can use it for the bad and use it for the good, but it's tough. Right. Yeah. No, somebody somebody told me before that either in prison there are two things happen: you become a a certified gangster or you change your life around or something like that. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, it is. Yeah. So, any any words of advice to the young guys? That's all I'm doing it for, man. It's ain't even for me no more. It's to show people that you can do it. Young kids, you know, our mm -hmm. community, our young. Latino kids, you know, you, you could do it, man. You put your mind to it. You I mean I spent 20 years behind walls and supermax penitentiaries, and I got out, got focused, put my head in the Bible, you know. Mm -hmm. But hey, I'm trying, and you know, 
set me on a path. You know? That's I want to write a book. Life. Right. Okay. Yeah. So, um, any um, are you watching the Canelo fight tonight? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. You know I. Am. Yeah. Do you do you you got you got um bet on somebody or you or you you kind of go either way either way. Um, I like Canelo. You know, I got to represent the hand there, but you know, right. uh, I don't know. He moved up in weight, so mm -hmm. I don't know. Might be a little challenge. He's he's like heavyweight now, so you know what I mean. I, I think he's still gonna win. I think he's the he's the best probably. One. First or second boxer in the world right now, so I think I think Canal pull away with a win. I think he's gonna go twelve rounds. He's gonna put him out in the eighth or ninth round. Okay, so um, you think they're gonna go the? Is it is it gonna go twelve rounds, right? Yeah, it's gonna go twelve rounds. But I think if Canal pulls through and fights and his game plan works, I think he takes him out in eight and nine, eight or nine rounds. I yeah, I, I just hope they don't do no chasing another ring around the ring. Man, I can't stand when they hug and they run around the ring. Like, why don't you just throw in there and fight? Like, I seen your clips of when you did your fight, man. You were not running. That dude kept running away from you, you know? Yeah, well, you know, I mean, it was a close fight. It was a close fight, and I, I injured my arm in the first round. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. I told you I got shot last summer. You know, oh, like yeah, you recovering. Uh, yeah, I had a bullet in there, and he hit me in the first round. He hit me, and it moved the bullet. Uh, that must have hurt. First round, I really couldn't. I couldn't. I was in pain every time I threw. So, you know, that's why I'm, I'm looking for a rematch. And I fought a little 22-year-old. I'm 37, you know what I mean? But oh, yeah. I, I still did good. And it was a close match. And they gave it to him. But, I don't know, everybody thought I, I won. But it was it yeah. was tough. Shit, if, if you had a bullet on your elbow, you know what I mean? That's, yeah. that's you know what I mean? And you still did it. That's That says a lot, so... For the kids, I said I'm here to motivate the kids and do it, man, for our youth, man. You know, we got a lot of people dying out here in my city in Pebble, Colorado. It's bad out there. I'm praying for them. So if somebody, if, if somebody in the street that, you know, they're like in the game and they, you know what, you motivate them and they want to, they, you know, how how can they get into the um into the boxing ring too? Like where can they go train if they're in your area? You know what I'm saying? Like who do they go holla at? If you went Pueblo, if you went Pueblo, go holler at my dad, Scott Gomez Sr. He uh uh he got his own boxing team it's called Yabaras Boxing. You I mean you look it up on Google or whatever is there? You know up here, uh, House of Pain Boxing, Airtight Boxing up here. He messaged up here in Colorado. He, that's my promoter. That's my manager. You know, he's helped me come through alive. Been knowing him since I was a kid. You know, mm -hmm. and I got out and I I hooked up with him. He's like, hey, you want to do it? I was like, yeah, you know. So my, my last fight, I was going to tell you, too, was a pro-am fight. So it was getting me ready to be a pro. I pulled mm -hmm. all the all the mm -hmm. Do you have any upcoming events? I know you're recovering from surgery right now, but anything coming up in the future? Um, well, right now, I'm just working, man, uh, mm -hmm. with the family. Uh, uh, the long time I've been in the studio, you know, my wife, actually, my fiance. Going and we got a little hard to go here in a row, and this is what I'm doing. And I'm working and training and getting ready for the next fight in August. Okay, also your next fight's in August? Yeah, yeah. That's gonna Where's be in that? my hometown. In Pueblo, Colorado. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, make sure you um, so tell us where people go follow you and uh, you know, check out and get a, an update on your next fight coming up in August. I'm uh, follow me on Facebook, Scotty Gomez. Boxer thirteen thirteen, uh, on Instagram I'm on Instagram too under Scotty Gomez. You know, follow me. All right, so everybody, make sure y'all go follow. Stay tuned, you know, because you know he's got a lot of hunger to, you know, we gonna take he gonna take it to the top. So you know, go follow. Stay tuned uh, for the fight coming up in August. Um, so I want to say, you know, thanks for doing the interview with us today. Do you want to send any shout outs to any of your people? First of all, shout out. The A and K, A K man, he's pro coming up. Free the homie, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to everybody doing time. Hold your head, man. You know what I mean. There's better day, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. We all can do it, man. You know, this is a Latino movement. We support each other. We supporting everybody. It's positive out right. here. And thank you, A K. Right. I appreciate you, Marty. Uh, all person. right. All right, so everybody, stay tuned. Hopefully, uh, you know, I know Canelo wins. <laughs> yeah, no, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But like I said, everybody, all the mothers that uh, tuned in, happy Mother's Day to all of y'all. 
you know, uh, may everybody have a blessed uh, rest of your weekend. Yeah, shout out to all the mothers. Shout out, shout out to my fiance, my, my mother, my grandmother. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to everybody. You guys have a blessed weekend. Be safe out there, man. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We're out.